This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, what is it? Uh, Dustin Skinner came out right after and, you know, then just laid the bomb. And you, you heard that, right? You don't know about Dustin Skinner? What, who is this clown and what did they say? This is, uh, this is my so-called producer here. Uh, anyway, so Dustin Skinner, for those of you that don't know, like my man Bill here, which was front and center news yesterday about all of this. Dustin Skinner is the son of Mike Skinner, the former race car driver. So uh, Dustin uh, wasn't necessarily happy uh, about everything that was going on and and everything that Bubba Wallace has uh, has been involved in. Uh, he um, he went out and said something really really disgusting, uh, basically about about uh, Wallace that uh, he wanted. Um, I mean, let me let me let me let me at least let me read them exactly that way. You know, why why am I going to paraphrase something this gross? Let's just give this man the credit that he deserves, right? Because you know, since he's going to be a disgusting uh, human being like this, uh, he you know should get all the credit uh, for everything that he said. Wait a minute here, where are we at? Because I've got the the bootleg apology from him. Uh, which means absolutely nothing in my book. Um, here we are. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to. I'm. Tr- uh, I just want to make sure I get it right here, so I can read it the right way uh, with him. All right, here we go. Uh, Skinner, the former uh, Skinner, is a, a driver now and a late model crew chief. Commented on Facebook over the weekend. My hat is off to who put the noose at his car. I wish they would have tied the noose to Wallace and drug him around the pits because he has single-handedly destroyed what I grew up watching and cared for for 30 years now. So he, by the way, then later walked back and he said, uh, this was not all, this was not about race at all. He wrote adding, it was stupidly foolish of me to say what I said. No, no, it's just hateful and racist, not stupidly foolish. You're just a racist and hateful. Your true colors came out, guy. Yeah, yeah, and I truly regret every bit of it. No, you don't. You truly regret it now because of the heat you're getting, and your dad even said, oh, my God, I don't even want to be a part of this. Uh, if there's any way to take what last night back, I would. All I can do is say I'm sorry, I love everyone, and wish the world to pull back together and us find a positive way to agree or disagree. I mean, it's like, you know, his apology doesn't mean anything. He's, uh, racists only care when they get caught. Racists only care when they get exposed. But this is what we have to deal with, just like we have to deal with the morons that are in a parade of Confederate flags outside Talladega, just like we got to deal with the morons that say, oh, Wallace is Jesse Smollett when – Neither one of the two cases are remotely even close. It, it just, it, it's sad. It's sad that there's that much ignorance in this world. It's sad that people could feel that kind of hate. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I just don't understand any of this, man. It's messed up that your brain processes this and pieces it, and this is the answer you come up with. Like, you know what I mean? Because that's what it is. And, and and it's just, and then to, and then see, there's a lot of people that that they're dumb, and so they don't they they don't think for themselves. So people that are in charge and people that have influence and all, they say things, and it, it then carries on with other people. And they actually believe that. And so when when Dustin Skinner comes out to apologize, dude, it's too late. And you don't want to bring people to you. I, I, I tell you this all the time, don't I? Apologies and sorries don't fix everything. Okay? There's no apology that fixes Dustin Skinner. His heart spoke. You know where it's at. You know? Might as well, dude, stay stand on your ground. You might as well. Stay the racist that you are. Stay being the pig that you are. 
Don't insult my intelligence by apologizing. Come on. You don't care. You don't care about about certain human beings. In fact, you don't look at them as human beings. That's obvious. Just sad, man. And and it's just also very, very close-minded. All right, Troy Ortiz is in the house. Alexa V, uh, Chad Marchione, uh, Josh is in the house. Herman Cueva, Troy Ortiz, DraftKings FanDuel GPP, uh, Alex Diaz, NorCal. Says, uh, good morning, big old crew listeners and chatters. Puff, puff, don't give. That's That's how you practice. Safety right there, baby. Keep it for yourself. That's right. Super Boom Shack, you sound fine. Uh, Let's see. What else do we have here? Even though it's only 60 games, I'm just happy baseball is back. Let's go Mets. Yeah, it's – I'm with you. I'm with you, Alex, to a certain extent. I'm happy to have it back as long as as it stays Uh, because who knows because of all this coronavirus stuff. But um, it's – it's an asterisk season. It's a bogus season. You know what I mean? It's it's nice to have baseball back, but the season means absolutely nothing for me because it's it's just it's a it's a lucky season for whatever team wins it, basically, because they've got to put everything together in sixty games, and that doesn't mean you're the best team in baseball. Anybody that knows anything about baseball, you know you can't settle a season in sixty games. So you know it is what it is. What are you gonna do? You know. I, that's is this uh something's better than nothing right right you know that's it that's it i think that's kind of the way alex feels you know he's just glad that it's back so am i okay i'd rather at least have 60 games in the playoffs than have nothing yes oh yeah you know so i'm glad at least we get something you know come down to florida and get corona yep uh let's see uh tommy italian 305 for life says that's not true i don't know what what is says that's not true I don't know what I don't know what that means. Uh let's see. Uh hello. His his dad is white. Whose dad is white? What just uh uh what's it called? Uh Rusty? Uh, Rusty. Rusty du- Wallace. Du- 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 Bubba Wallace? Dustin, Dustin. I, I don't so what does that mean, Tommy? That he's half white and half black? So I don't know. What is why is that an issue? I'm not exactly sure. You're losing me on that one, my man. I don't know what that means. And why is that an issue? Maybe maybe he's thinking that he doesn't get full credit for being black. Is that what he's saying, trying to say? I don't know. Man. You know, Whatever. I, Bubba Wallace not driving 43 car to put black person in NASCAR. He is a damn good driver. Richard per- Petty's not a fool. Wallace is capable of winning a race. He's always in the top 20 on a lead lap. He was 14 this past uh, race. No, listen, he was running third. If he doesn't have the gas issue like right. what happened, he he's right there. Oh, so now we're gonna treat him like uh like um, what's the what's the woman's name with uh, Aaron Rodgers? Um, oh, um, uh, Danica Patrick. Yes. Now we're gonna treat him like Danica Patrick. 